Welcome to the DJ Mixtape. Today we're going to be taking a look at beat matching in Ableton Live. Uh, most of you probably know already that beat matching is the process of syncing up two rhythm sections of a track so they uh, create one continuous drum beat. First up, it's important when we're doing any kind of uh, DJ mix programming on Ableton Live. Make sure you tag all your music files um, so they've got the key and tempo actually written into the file. Now you can do this on loads of different kinds of software. I use Mixed in Key, but you can probably use Tractor or Serato or Record Box or something like that to tag your files. Next up, we need to find two tracks that are similar in tempo, so no more than around 5 BPM apart from each other. Uh, make sure both of the tracks have a beat intro and a beat outro, which means that they just have the rhythm section and no other elements in the track on their intro and outro. Next up, we're going to drag both of our tracks into live and we're going to warp both of our tracks. Um, if you're not familiar with warping, check out our other video on how to warp tracks in Ableton uh, and try and make your warping as accurate as possible uh, because it's going to make our beat match smoother. Next I want you to mute track number two. So we've just got the first track playing and head to the end of the track and see if you can highlight where the drum beat starts on its own as part of the outro of the track. Now, if you've done your warping correctly uh, and it's a, a fairly standard club track, you should find that the outro beat starts on a, a number that's related to 8 or 16 or 32 because that's how most electronic music is arranged. So hopefully that's the case uh, and you're ready to lay over your second track. Now drag your second track to the bit where the beat starts on its own on the outro of the first track uh, and we're going to play back and see if we have a nice beat match ready. If the groove in your mix is sounding a bit loose or a bit out of time you might need to go back into uh, live and have a look at the warping um, and see if you can tighten things up. Usually when something's falling out of time it's it's something to do with the warping on it. So go back into there and tighten it up if needs be. But hopefully you've got a basic uh, beat match going in live. Remember if you want to find out more about putting together a DJ mix on Ableton Live, head over to our online course which contains over five hours of video content on putting a pro DJ mix together on live. And we'll be back next week with some more tips.